Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sword Go Lock. In last episode, we uh, continued on with the Champions Cup, beating who was it? We beat uh, the unexpected appearance of Bead, our our former rival, a now turned gym leader. We beat Nessa, the water type gym leader of was it Holbury, I think, and then B of Stone Side, the fighting type master. This episode. Starting off with a pretty tough battle. Raihan, the dragon type gym leader, the eighth gym leader of the region. Um, like I said, he's dragon type. This is a really tough lineup. Honestly, I think we're gonna lead Susie, because even though Susie doesn't have any super effective moves against dragons, Susie is like a pretty powerful Pokemon and can kind of handle her own. So I say let's just head right into it. I am, I wasn't nervous about Nessa or B, but this fight, it's got me shaking a little, I'll be honest. I feel feel sweat droplets forming on my body so let's hope it goes well oh here it is the last match of the finals who are in the right to challenge the unbeatable champion leon will be the brilliant rising star challenger max will be the only trainer that champion leon calls his rival the tamer of dragons raihan i mean hopefully us obviously really you're really something else kid you've made it all the way here this is why the champion himself endorsed you yeah Leon's my rival, and he chose you, so I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've worked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you can beat me once already, or you might be thinking you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Raihan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Whew. Here we go. This is going to be tough. I'm not looking forward to this fight. I mean, I may be looking forward to finishing it, but that's the hard part. Torkoal. Okay. <laughs> Honestly... This is a bit of a weird situation for us. Because Susie does have a super effective Earthquake. But Torkoal is also super effective with its fire moves. So this puts us in a really weird situation. That's Drought. It gets the sunlight burning real harsh. And that's also an issue. Drought? Ooh. Honestly, I think we need to switch into Loki because he's not weak to fire type moves. Uh, with Drought up, Fire-type moves will do double the amount they normally would, which is why I don't think I really want to risk keeping Excadrill in. Uh-oh. That's super effective. And it's going to hit in one turn because of... Okay, we can take... We can take one more. Let's use Earthquake. We can take one more. This is, this is not off to a great start. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to take one more. Okay. This is not. This is why I'm not looking forward to this fight, I'll be honest. Come on, Loki. Come on, Loki. Hang in there. Okay, good. And let's use Earthquake and take out this Torkoal. Not off to a good start, though. Loki taking this much damage. Loki is like, kind of like one of the anchors on our team, I'd say. He's very... I can send him in and he'll, he'll handle just about any situation decently. I wonder why the Torkoal used Solar Beam, though. Maybe he doesn't have a fire move? Okay, Gudra. Um, we're going to switch in Whimsicott for that. Right? Maybe we go into Lisa, honestly. Yeah, we're going to go into Lisa and start setting up screens. But I don't, I don't know why it used Solar Beam. If it had a fire move, you'd think it'd use that because it's super effective against Excadrill. Maybe it didn't have a fire move. Weird. I'm trying to think about what Gudra might have. Against Reuniclus. Like, what moves could it use? We'll set up Reflect first. Okay, Rain Dance. Interesting. Okay, Reflect probably was the move then. Or no, uh, I probably should use Light Screen, I should say, because this thing probably has Hydro Pump or something. Weird that it changed the weather, though. Here comes the rain. Feel its cold dampness soaking your body. Like, I know Raihan's whole thing is different weather conditions, but, like, what really... Oh, Gudra does have the ability that, I think, heals it during rain. But is that really all? Okay, Muddy Water. That's why. That's going to do quite a bit, especially in rain. Okay, not even half, though, so we're good. Because especially with light screen up, that's going to do even less. And then we can probably beat this thing with, I'd say, like, two psychics, maybe three. And we get the slow healing over time with leftovers, too, which is nice. So let's hit it with a psychic. Okay, and it's using Surf now? Surf has less base power, I think, but it has higher accuracy. I wonder why it's using that. 
Looks like three psychic. Oh, maybe two, because with that special. We're getting lucky with those. I think it's only going to take two now, because that special defense drop. Two psychics should be enough, honestly. Let's hit it again. As long as we live this muddy water, as long as it doesn't critical hit, we should be fine. Probably just jinx it, though. No, we're good. We're good. Nice is fine. Oh, we get the accuracy drop, so let's hope we hit the psychic. Okay, we don't hit the psychic. We're just going to do it again, because odds are we hit it. And it'll definitely kill. Okay, and they missed the muddy water, so it was, it was a fair. Okay, never mind, not fair. Uh, we missed. Oh, but the rain goes down. <laughs> Very weird uh, little bit of events there. We missed, they missed, then we missed again. A reflex gone, that's a bit annoying. Okay, it's just going to use rain dance again, that's fine. Let's hopefully take it out with the psychic. You just got to hit it, Lisa, come on. There we go. It was just one accuracy drop, too, so we are bound to get one eventually. Okay, and with the special defense drop, that was definitely enough to take it out. Nice. Ooh, levels for everybody. What's next, Rihon? I'm worried about the Duraludon, but I think our Excadrill can be, like, is, is going to be able to take it. I'm just a bit worried. Flygon. Um, Flygon's a bit scary, too. We'll just send in Tinkerbell. Moonblast should do quite a bit, if not take it out. Flygon's not too bulky. One of my favorite Pokemon, though. So it's gonna, it's gonna hurt putting this thing out. There it is. Those goggles look so cool. Flygon really is a Pokemon built for the desert. You can see it. See it with a Moonblast. Should be. Yeah. I was about to say, should be enough to take it out, but I didn't want to jinx it. There goes Flygon. Dragons aren't really holding up, Rihon. Turtonator. Oh, this is actually not great. Turtonator. I said we go into Lisa. Because what I'm worried about here is Shell Trap. I think we set up screens. Then if it hasn't like done anything great yet, we... Uh, it's definitely going to use... If it's going to use a move, it's going to be like Flamethrower. But I think it's going to change the, the weather, if anything. Yeah, okay. So we should be fine. We have light screen up. I think this thing is a mostly a special attack or two. Here we go. Have a taste of sunny day. Have you got a plan to counter it? So now I think we're going to recover maybe? No, I'd say maybe we just use reflect. Because with light screen up, and then we're, we're faster, so no matter what. Okay, yeah, perfect. That's perfect. That's perfectly fine. Because shell trap only activates if you attack it. So as long as we set up screens, we can basically recover and get a free recover and our free screens, which is nice. Assuming he uses Shell Trap again, of course, which it did. It's just wasting its sunlight, too, which is good. You're burning sunlight, Rihon. <laughs> shell Trap didn't work. Okay, now we're going to have to attack it, so we're going to be hit by the Shell Trap, but it honestly probably won't do too much. We have Light Screen up. I think she'll trap a special anyway. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh, and that's right, shell trap I think only works if you hit it with a physical move, so it wouldn't matter anyway. Okay, full restore, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. This thing hard, yeah. And sunlight's gone too, which is good. Okay, light screen wore off. I think we're gonna reset light screen, honestly. Just to be careful. Might as well. This thing can't really do anything to us, it seems. It seems to be a bit focused on controlling the weather. I think our Reflect runs out this turn, so we'll set that up again, too, just to be safe. I I know Raihan's lost Pokemon is likely his Duraludon, so I'm just kind of getting ready. Our Exodol should be able to take it, but better safe than sorry, of course. Okay, there goes Reflect, and Shell Trap does nothing. Just like that, we have screens up, and our Reuniclus is at full health, and all he's got left is his Duraludon. Perfect. There we go. It's a little bit of experience. Okay, Duraludon, and we're going into Excadrill. We're probably going to Dynamax. As you can kind of expect, it's the last Pokemon. He's probably going to check Gantamax it, as we've seen this Duraludon do before. Really doesn't have anything on us. You realize I'm the great Ryan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon, so first I'll beat you. 
Yeah, we'll see about that. We, we also have screens up, so this thing's going to be doing minimal damage to us, if any damage at all, really. Bring the storm. My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. That's not good. Everyone, that's that's going to hurt some people, man. Seraladon. I've seen it before. Pretty recently, honestly. Just probably a few episodes ago. There it is. That big old monster. It's Dynamax in turn. I think I'm a single... I don't know if a single max quick will take it out, but I don't think it has anything to really hurt us. I don't even know if it gets fire moves, which would be the only real issue, is if it can use fire moves in the sunlight. And then again, we have light screen and reflect up, so no matter what it uses, it's going to be hot. Okay, fighting move. That's a bit scary, honestly, because that boosts its attack by a stage. Okay, but we take nothing from that. Thank, thank you for reflect. But that could be an issue if our reflect runs out or he gets a critical hit, so let's be real careful. Or we can just one-shot it. That's fine. Uh, thanks, Excadrill. Putting in the work to when no one else can. I'm telling you, Excadrill is where it's at in this game. Level, level, level up, too. We really ought to get him some field time. Thank you for the, the fun battle, Raihan, but you didn't put up too much of a challenge this time. Losing the final is pretty rough, but I suppose I better take a quick shot to remember by. Here we go, guys. We made our way through the Champions Cup. Challenger Max sees his victory. I love like Pokemon, and I have become much stronger than we were before. You just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagine. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you've ever dreamed. You've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 024, Challenger Max has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. The result of the final round. There us, there's us at the top. Top of Champions Cup, and only one above us now is Leon. All right, the big moment's finally here, eh? I'm just cheering on, you know. So it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? <laughs> what? Thank you, Intellion. Right, you reckon I should cheer for Max too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. Glad you remember, Hop. Warm is my heart. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Don't forget about X Control. What? Here we go. Let's take one last look at our team. We trained for this, guys. Now let's head on to the pitch and fight the unbeatable champion, Leon. The tents still air on the pitch. An exact officer from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. I can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past that fear. I love giving in everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion's time. I'm the Galar Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Here we go. Wait, hold on. Look at the monitor. What is that on the big screen? Hello there, Leon and Max. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. For the sake of Galar's future, of course. 
but I'm a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Lee, Max. That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. Everything he was saying yesterday. Did he really pull the crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. Looks like the match is going to have to wait for now. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother, Max. I've got to. I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? Just try, Op. What can I even do? Hold the phone. Chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where all the sky went all dark once. Ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean he's bringing that about? And where do we even hear that name? The Statue of the Hero. The Statue of the Hero of Motostoke. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with a sword and shield Pokemon. Soon I thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? Let's try and find them, Max. Where to start looking? Maybe that creature we saw in the slumbering wheel. That's it, Max. I'm sure it's got to be the slumbering wheel. The illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's get back to the slumbering wheel. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Looks like this, the, the match is going to have to wait. Bit of a big event in the region and a... Hopefully we can kind of work on fixing it. That's a darkest day is coming. We got one lead. That's back in the slumbering wheel. Max and Hop? Oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Have you been watching the news at all? The tournament's off, Sonya. Chairman saw to that and just sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wheel? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? throwing everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? Darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Max? Search for the sword Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. It may just be what we need to beat back the black storm. Okay, here, take this. I should head into Slumbering Wheel. Catch up with you once I'm done looking at something that's been bothering me. Thank you, Sonia, for some completely useless items. Into the Slumbering Wheel we go, though. Hopefully we can find a way to end the, the darkest day before it causes too much damage. All that matters is that you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer, after all. Ready for this, Max? When we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it bothers us now, we've both grown loads stronger, and so have our own Pokemon. Going to the forest after Wooloo that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. Sounds good. But it is important to recognize that this is a new encounter for us. Uh, last time we were in the Slumbering Wheel, we didn't have Pokeball, so it didn't count. So, uh... Sat in the grass right there. Let's catch it. So it'll be... Our encounter, and then we'll trade it in for our Pokemon Go equivalent. Looks like it's a little grubbin. How adorable. Should be pretty easy to catch. Probably a low level two, right? This is a pretty early game area. Yeah, level two. Let's just throw a Pokeball. What's the worst that can happen? This has got, like, Fisher. It's going to destroy our X control. In this lighting, the Pokeball looks really orange. Kind of like how it used to look in, like, Sinnoh. In Sinnoh, I remember as a kid thing, the Pokeballs looked really orange. I wonder if it was just, like, DS lighting, but... There we go, we caught Grubbin. Nice, nice. Nope, no nickname. It's a new box. Now let's real quick get our Pokemon Go equivalent of that capture. Head to the box. Oop. He's already in place, too. With that being said, the Pokemon Go equivalent of our little our little Grubbin capture is a... A Dratini. Wow. Okay, if we ever... Ever unfortunately lose a member of our team, this is what's replacing it. Dratini, uh, 
What is that? No way. Is that... Is that an Adam and Tratini? That's like, I think, one of, if not the best nature for Tratini. While a pretty weak Pokemon by itself, Dratini can evolve into the pseudo-legendary Pokemon Dragonite. A, a pretty strong Dragon-type powerhouse. So if unfortunately we lose anybody, this Dratini is filling that slot for sure. I'm very happy with that encounter. Very, very happy with that encounter. Good thing we have a powerhouse like that back up, because we might need it with this, this Darkest Day thing ahead of us. And look, it's Rook D trying to attack us. So annoying. we got places to be, Rook D. We're trying to save, save your life. Ooh, almost ran into that surprise encounter. Been here once before. If you remember, it didn't turn out great. We walked into the illusion, the illusory Pokemon, and it, it kind of swept the floor with us. We couldn't even hit it. So let's head deeper into the slumbering wheel and see if we can find anything new. Something relating to that Pokemon. I think this is where we fought it before, but it looks like we can go a bit further. The fog isn't got around us yet. Ooh, there's some new Pokemon. Looks like a Galari Weezing, Mana. Or Luna, whatever it is. Full Restore. Nice. I'm going to try to explore this place a bit. See so if we can get a hold on any powerful items that definitely need it. Definitely need it to take on the darkest day. Speaking of items, a Life Orb. Life Orb is a great, great held item. Less so in a Nuzlocke, I'd say. But what it does is it every turn, you slowly lose a little bit of health on your Pokemon. But in return for that, you get a huge power boost. So... Playing online against friends, that's a good one. Misty Seed is a one-time use item that boosts special defense in Misty Terrain. This terrain can be put in place by Pokemon like, uh, what? Tapu Fini? Any Pokemon that uses the move Misty Terrain? I don't know any off the top of my head, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Let's maybe, let's try to go this way. Ooh, we snuck right around that Weezing. There's an item. Good thing we came this way. Mental Herb. Uh, another one-time use held item. If a Pokemon has the move Bind or Wrap used on it so it can't switch out, the Mental Herb will let it switch out and get out of that. Anything over here? Oh, a TM, nice. TM86 Phantom Force. Phantom Force is like the ghost-type equivalent of Fly. It's a physical move. Um, hits through Protect, which is pretty nice. An Elixir, you know what that does. Just kind of a uh, PowerPoint healing item. Looks like another item right up here. A smoke ball. Another held item. Not one time use. Held by. Oh, you see, yeah, that's the Galarian Sun. That's right there. A smoke ball will let a Pokemon escape from any battle, like run away from it. So, it'll be useful. If your Pokemon are a bit lower level than you'd like. Is there anything this way? No. What do you got to say, Hop? What's with this fog? It's even worse than when we first came here. There it is. It's got back up the sun. There's that Pokemon we saw way back at the start of our adventure. Grilled. They really are here. The Sword and Shield Pokemon. I knew it. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two. What in the world are you doing? Come off, it's on. You must have seen that, right? Those the Sword and Shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us. Then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. you were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the Sword Pokemon Zacian and the Shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the Slumbering Wheel sometime long, long ago. Did they really? Sonya, thanks for digging into it. Even if it is just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and shield that those two used to carry are still here too. Maybe. There's only one thing we can do, and that's run deeper into the fog. It's our one hope for stopping the darkest days. Finding a way to get the sword and shield or the Pokemon. Seems like some sort of shrine. At least the ruins of one. Just take a look at that, Max. Not something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. What is this place?
See that, Max? The sword and the shield. The legends really were true. You obtained a rusted sword. It is said that a hero used this sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That settles it. I'm taking the shield. Though, so, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all we've got. As much as I would love to go help Lee, that's all the time we have for today, unfortunately. Next episode, make sure to tune in and uh, hopefully we can stop the darkest day before the whole Galar region is destroyed. Hope to see you guys next time. Have a nice day.